Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepped out for a childless dinner in Los Angeles to celebrate their wedding anniversary after returning from a childless royal tour. It's hard to care since their children never seem to be around. They dined at an upscale steakhouse in Montecito with Brian and Tracy Robbins. They were spotted at one of their favourite restaurants in the hometown of Montecito, Lucky's, an upmarket steakhouse where a 28 ounce Potterhouse steak costs $175, and a side of hash browns will set you back 15. The couple were joined by their friends, Paramount boss Brian Robbins and his wife Tracy, who works as a designer. The four friends are believed to have grown quite close over recent years, with Harry and Meghan joining Brian and Tracy for the One Love film premiere in Jamaica this January. Tracy was among the few to receive a jar of the couple's homemade jam, which was limited to only 10 jars, despite being numbered 1 to 50. Mrs. Robbins shared a photo of Meghan's jam featuring the American Riviera Orchard logo and Montecito beneath it, referencing the celebrity enclave in California where Harry and Meghan reside in a £12 million home. The label also read 17 of 50. Last month, Tracy showcased the jam labelled 17 of 50 on Instagram, commenting, at American Riviera Orchard, breakfast, lunch and dinner just got a little sweeter. She added, thank you for the delicious basket, I absolutely love this jam, so I'm not sure I'm sharing it with anyone. At American Riviera Orchard, thank you, M. Hashtag Montecito goodness. Hashtag American Riviera Orchard. Harry and Meghan were photographed enjoying the meal with a bottle of red wine on the table while conversing with Brian and Tracy. According to the restaurant's wine list, the cheapest bottle of red is $72. The photo of the duo was reportedly taken by either starstruck fans or paparazzi. It was then shared in a text thread. The text read, Babe, I'm at Lucky's in Montecito and Harry and Meghan are here. Chris Hemsworth at Jack's wife Frida on Lafayette, Annan. Mary-Kate Olsen at Fleming UES. Hi love, Kaya and Austin at Swan Room sat far from them but so cute. They were giggling and chill having a great time, so into each other. Hannah Einbinder from Hacks at Louis Vuitton in Hudson Yards, she was absolutely the sweetest. Why would a text between two people list all the celebrities they saw but only include a picture of Harry and Meghan Markle on that anniversary? Kaya and Austin were mentioned but the only photos shared in this text thread was of the oversaturated Sussexes. Really? Chris Hemsworth and Mary-Kate Olsen were also spotted at different locations, but it's this picture of Harry and Meghan at Lucky's that made the rounds. Question, would you text your babe all the celebrities that you saw at five places in one day and only include pictures of this one sighting? This grassroots PR is pathetic. Did they have their security snap this picture from their table? Meghan celebrated the six-year wedding anniversary on Sunday, also known as a sugar anniversary because of the traditional gift given for the occasion. According to tradition, it's meant to symbolise the sweet story of how the couple fell head over heels for each other, along with richness of everlasting love. Why are we constantly told these people are doting parents when they rarely seem to be with their children? They've been on date nights in Jamaica, trips to Utah and Vancouver, all without their kids. They missed American Mother's Day with their children to meet with charities and officials at the Lagos State Governor's Office. If these children exist, they're never with their parents. This steakhouse seems to be a favourite spot for the couple, often seen there, including a double date with Catherine McPhee and David Foster. While the dining choices are well documented, the real question remains, where are the children? Are they with Doria, 